watched the Halloween series since the 70s, you already know John Carpenter pretty much segued, I wouldn't say the beginning, but definitely the renaissance of slasher films and movies. Now, why didn't I drop this weeks ago? We'll start with October's a rough month, so super behind on all my original projects. That's why you got Candyman, you know, that's why you end up getting the Bleach video. But I didn't do anything else beyond those things outside of the Twilight Zone, which I decided I'll drop around Christmas time because it simply just could not match my schedule. It's, it is what it is. Anyways, I'm a big, I'm a very big Halloween stan. I'm a big fan of horror movies and slasher films, period. Biggest issue when this originally came out is there was a lot of recency bias. So I had to make sure I'd watch this again before I sat here and decided, hey, this movie was garbage, or I didn't like this, or A, B, C, D, and E. I don't like ranting about movies, horror, anime, television, without some type of extra energy. I'm sure you've seen a million different, you know, marathons between Friday the 13th, Halloween, Chucky. So Michael Myers is pretty much a household name, right? And when they originally brought Halloween, the 2018 remake, wasn't as happy either, wasn't a big fan of it. And I went to go see it with family. Once it was actually released, I actually really enjoyed it. It's a lot of brutal kills, a lot of violence like I like. A good scrolled family storyline, right? This movie, like many Halloween sequels, starts off with a man dressed, uh, I don't know what he was dressed as, like Velma. This is the 12th movie. This is basically the third and or fourth remake. So you can see a lot of the issues from H2O, The Curse of Michael Myers, and going forward with a lot of rebranding, reboots, and return. So I was very surprised when you know the sequel was coming out, it was really hype. There wasn't really many trailers. I was gonna do a trailer, a reaction trailer kind of thing, and I wasn't really feeling it. Brought it back to 1978, and they transitioned back into 2018, where most of the children from 78 grew up. Remember the original Terror? That is basically Michael Myers. And the entire community, they're all in a bar, publicly in support of Lori Schroeder and her family and the community is all together. We can kill Michael, we can hurt Michael, and we need to stop being afraid of him and do something about it. All right, you got Lori screaming, saying let it burn because these idiot firemen don't know what they're doing. So as usual, uh, Michael goes into his little extra tangent brutal kill mode. He starts, you know, breaking limbs, uh, putting saws through people's faces. The brutal kills are nice, um, but these firemen are the reason why Michael's free instead of dead, so. The only human being here who wishes there was no sequel, I'm probably the only one. As usual, Mike kills a fireman, escapes back to his, what I call, boogeyman terror energy. Okay. Gee, it ain't no step for a stepper. You know, there's not much really for me to go into. The movie really focuses more on the community and the storyline more than the Strode family and the deaths. I mean, there's a lot of brutal kills. And as much as I like brutal kills, they don't save the movie for me. This Halloween in particular has some of the most brutal kills I've seen in a Halloween movie period. Uh, in particular, the scene where Michael's stabbing a man with multiple knives at his house. He ripped a fireman's head clean apart. Uh, he had a woman, had a, she dressed in a nurse costume, but she tried to shoot at him and then the bullet ricocheted off from the door when he kicks the door open and she dies that way. So 40 minutes into the movie, there's barely any rememberable scene or dialogue. It's just clean and brutal kills, which will be one. But it is a good hour and 40 minutes of just talk, uh, talk and deaths, talk and deaths. What a lot of characters have you pretty much don't care about. Uh, personally, I just did not care. I personally just did not care about the community hunting down Michael Myers at all. All right, so I like the idea, but the execution just really wasn't there for me. Uh, mainly because I have no connection to any of the community that they've shown in the movie, even when they try showing them from 1978 and then jump into 2018, I just don't care. The thing I care about is the Strode family. And it was nice they brought back Dr. Loomis and they did some tie-ins the previous scenes in the 2018 movie, but this movie is average at best. There's nothing um, innovative, nothing that we should really care about. Um, it's, it's, it's hard to review this without shitting on the movie, honestly. I have nothing nice to say outside of I just really liked how many times he ripped people's faces off, uh, stabbed people, uh, repeated and brutal kills throughout the entire movie, but nothing that just sticks to me even for a horror film. You can get through like halfway of the movie and there's still just nothing but Michael killing the town's community. Um, there's nothing even to discuss with different couples and characters because I just don't care. I, I didn't care about um, the same-sex couple in their own house. I didn't care about the doctor and the nurse couple that got killed. 
early in the movie as well. Uh, I just didn't care who got killed. I like how they were killed, but that's it. Uh, you know, then you have Tommy, who he's screaming to the community, you know, evil. Tommy's screaming to the community, and he's like, evil dies tonight. And if you don't want to watch going forward, I'll do like a small spoiler, but he ends up dying anyway, like you expect, so. It was almost worthless to get the entire community riled up for killed by Michael piece by piece by piece picked apart like dogs so i stopped counting but there's about 11 kills at least in this movie um and there's a certain point towards the end of it where Lori does bond with the town sheriff frank i believe uh, director and co-writer david gordon green well he tried he did a really good job in the 2018 version i'm going to chalk it up to budget cuts certain things actors could could not do due to the pandemic I think it was split into two movies for a reason. Uh, Halloween ends, I'm just... This isn't how you hype up a third movie. This is actually the worst way to hype up a third movie. I have no energy or want for Halloween ends. It just doesn't really... I don't give a shit. Um, and I get everything was kind of like tied together for nostalgia purposes. And it was all supposed to come together into Halloween ends. It just... Personally, you, you're trying to show an entire community that's being annihilated and killed by a mass murderer. It works when you release built or poor, and there's some characterization, but almost every single character they showed in this movie was killed. I, it was more like they were just a distraction so the, the Strode family could actually continue living into the third movie. I just don't know what the director or the storyboard writers were thinking by cutting out the Strode family almost entirely. Yes, I know Michael is the main face, but I don't. I, we don't give a shit about the townsfolk. We don't. We don't fucking care. Nobody cares. Last thoughts on this. What are my last thoughts on this. I'm definitely going to see the third one. I'm glad I didn't see this shit in theaters like I originally planned to. Going forward, I would hope this isn't going to be like. I haven't seen it yet, but like the sequel to Devil's Rejects, uh, we'll talk about that once I actually watch it. I'm hoping this isn't one of those cases. I didn't do too much research on this movie, but. Yeah, I had to sit down for a few weeks before I actually came with an opinion because I was just going to destroy it. But I realized that this movie is just built to segue into Halloween ends. It's not bad. It's not good. It's average at best. But as usual, it is still horror season. So there are going to be tons of random horror movies that either I may watch or I won't. Uh, the Jujutsu Kaisen movie is coming. So there's a lot of new content and series I'm going to be reviewing and watching. In the meantime, um, I got a couple things I have just sitting in the back of my library that's coming as well. So you're seeing different uh, well, hairstyles. That's because this actual recording I did literally right after just rewatching uh, Open Kill. So, uh, what do you think? Again, like, subscribe, comment. I also have a Naruto versus Hunter Hunter video coming soon. I'm in the process of writing the script now, so really hype about that. Baki's coming as well and a few other random projects I've been sitting on. Take care, see you next time. Bye YouTube and Dr. Dead out.